Hi, I'm Carly and this is my channel, welcome. I'm a leadership and team performance coach who specializes in human design. This is a space for heart-centered leaders and business owners who are looking to access their highest potential using the human design system. Today, I wanna to talk about new year. Now you might think I'm a bit late and that I've missed it, but in human design, we celebrate the rave new year on the 22nd of January. So if you've been feeling not so motivated about setting your new year intentions, then that's no surprise to me and you still have time. In human design, we have 64 gates which are linked to the I Ching and the sun moves through each of these gates. The rave new year starts with the sun in gate 41. The sun is the closest planet to earth and that's why we feel the energy of the gate that the sun's in more than any others. Now, if you overlay your chart onto the 22nd, you're going to see how the planets are hooking you up. Now, this sets the stage for energies that you might encounter throughout the year. Now, I thought I'd show you my chart as an example. I'm going to bring it up for you now. So this is my charts and this is my chart overlaid um, with the transit on the 22nd of January. So you can see where the green sections are in my charts. Um, this is me. This is these are the channels that I always have and the gates that I always have in my charts. Um, and the purple is the transit. So you can see how it's hooking me up, for example, with this one. I normally just have this hanging gate, but this transit is giving me this whole channel. So I'm going to go into each of those so you can see um, the kind of very quick analysis that I was able to give myself to give myself an idea of how um, what I might experience, what how the, the stage is being set for me in 2023. So the first channel um, you can see that is um, hooking me up is the 3536, the channel of transitoriness. And this is a design of a jack of all trades. So what this is telling me, so this channel is all about um, trying new things, having adventures, really pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. And I've already got a few projects lined up this year that are doing just that. They're really pushing me out of my comfort zone. They're things that I've not done before, um, things that might ordinarily make me a little nervous or are making me nervous. Um, and what this channel um tells me um, as it's hooking me up as I as I launch into 2023 on the 22nd is that I'm meant to be experimenting and trying new things and really pushing myself out of my comfort zone and this really is setting the scene for the the year that I'm gonna have and then over here on the other side I have the 1648 the channel of the wavelength and this is a, this is a design of talent so with this channel, it's about finding this thing that you want to master and practicing it over and over again um, in a very repetitive way in order to master that talent. Now, this kind of conflicts with this jack of all trades over here, right? So I've got to find this one thing and master it. Um, but I also want to be pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Now, one of the things um, that I am um, that is coming up for me is that I've signed up for um, Kundalini yoga teacher training. Um, for those of you that know, um, I already practice Kundalini yoga, but this is really um, going to really push me again out of my comfort zone. Um, but also is going to give me some structure so that I can really master what I've already been learning over the years. So it feels like I've um, honed in on one area that I would like to really um, master in 2023. And with the yoga and the meditation, it really is going to um, need me to repetitively practice have this practice daily um which is something that I've not ordinarily been very good at so I'm really hoping this energy is going to help give me that consistency around repetition and practice um in this one area of my my skill set then I also have the gate 214 being hooked up so this is the channel of the beat um, this is really about being a way shower for others, really following my own direction, even if it doesn't necessarily make sense to anyone else um, or might not be conventional and really, um, you know, drumming to my own beat and inspiring others by doing so. 
I don't normally have, um, I have an open G center, which means that I um, often feel a lack of um, direct sense of direction. Um, so I'm quite excited that to start the year off with this being hooked up and hoping that energy will propel me through the year. The other channel that it's also giving me is this um, channel of judgment. And this judgment is for collective gain. So it's um, judging things that can be corrected for the collective to benefit the collective. Now, something I want to be um, conscious of is, is not letting this channel and this judgment turn inward so that I judge myself especially given that I'm going to be trying new things and pushing myself out of my comfort zone and trying to master a talent over here. I want to be um, conscious that I don't start judging myself for um, my imperfections. This channel can um, often, people with this channel can often be perfectionists. So that's something for me to watch out for. So those are my personal channels. You can see those listed here, the four channels that I'm going to be experiencing that are being hooked up on the 22nd. Um, and then I've got these three, which are my natal channels that I always have that will remain. But I also have this compromise channel. So where I might be compromised. And for me, this is this channel of recognition where I have half of it normally. Um, but, I, but by hooking me up, um, it's giving me this full channel. This is um, really about people with this channel tend to be kind of life's dreamers. So peace is achieved through enjoying the dream itself rather than necessarily the achievement um, of the desire. And there could potentially be a conflict between this uh, this channel and this channel of judgment. So this channel over here, the channel of judgment wants to um correct to learn and this channel over here wants to feel to learn it's all about moving through emotions moving from pain to hope so watching out for where these two channels might be in conflict to each other um is something also for me to be aware of now that was a very quick analysis a very quick rundown um of how i'm taking um how i'm interpreting this transit and how it affects me on the 22nd as it propels me into 2023 and what it might be energies I might be encountering if you would like an analysis of your own chart as we enter 2023 then please do reach out and get in touch and book your session um, I'll leave a link in the comments um, so that you can book that and ideally you have a foundational understanding of your chart already before we do this um, but I look forward to reading your chart for you and helping you really set some uh, exciting goals for 2023 and really feeling into how these energies can support you on the 22nd. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe so that you're notified next time I uh, share a video on here. And you can follow me on Instagram, LinkedIn, sign up to my newsletter on my website. Again, all the links will be in the comments. Thank you for listening.